Eric, it was a bit up and down last week um, in terms of we made a big comeback um, but then weren't quite able to hold on. Um, are you confident this week we can maintain a four-quarter effort? Um, yeah, definitely. It's going to be a focus of ours playing four quarters. Um, even in the first game we started off very well and then um, sort of faded and let Gold Coast come back and then same with the Essen game. They had a jump on us so um, and then we had to sort of fight our way back and same as last week. So it will be a focus for us just playing four quarters. Turnovers last week were a, a pretty big issue. Um, how have we addressed it this week? Uh, yeah, last week we handled a fair bit and um, sort of put us under the pump. St Kilda are a high pressure team so um, yeah, we'll just try and get into the forwards one on one. Um, yeah, we'll create a contest and hopefully, yeah, score off that. Richmond have had a pretty impressive start to the season. If we get the win over them, um, how do you think, what kind of confidence will that bring to our side? Yeah, Richmond, very good side. They've started 3-0, and so it'll be a massive challenge for the boys. Um, it'll be exciting, a bigger challenge. So, um, I guess just starting early and hopefully um, maintaining that over the four quarters will give us the best shot to um, get the win. Darcy Gardner left the field early last week. Are we confident he'll be able to get up for the match? Uh, yeah, we got training this afternoon, so hopefully he gets through that. And if he gets through, I'd say he'll be all right. And uh, how, how's this year different from last year with new coach, obviously, Chris Fagan? How are you finding it? And what changes have you noticed? Uh, yeah, there's been a high emphasis on de uh, defensive pressure. Um, and then sort of with our offense, just playing on instinct, sort of that's what you drafted for. So. Just playing your strengths and um, yeah, playing on instinct and then just focusing on defence first. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Harris, um, Sunday at the Gabba, obviously we're expecting a big crowd for Easter Sunday. What are you thinking? Yeah, very exciting time, obviously playing on uh, that Easter weekend. So um, yeah, hopefully everyone can get out there. I know the kids obviously getting in for free this weekend as well, which is really exciting. So yeah, it'll be good to have a good turnout there. Spoke to Eric about Richmond having a really strong start to the season. Um, what can we do to, I guess, try to derail their plans to really kick start the year? Yeah, uh, Richmond's, yeah, as Eric said, they've started 3-0. They've had a good start to the season. Um, what, just watching their football, they've, I guess their pressure's really lifted from last year. That's something that I've noticed. So um, I think for us, it's just going to be being really composed with the football, making sure that um, as a group, we're not handballing the ball too much. and making sure that we can own the ball and really, um, I guess, deny that pressure on ourselves. So, yeah, that's going to be important. Uh, which forward of theirs do you expect to get the job on this week? Uh, oh, I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, we'll probably go through that this afternoon, maybe after training, just to, um, yeah, I guess, look at the matchups in the back six, uh, which will be pretty, pretty important. They've got a good forward line, obviously, with Jack Rewalt and um, even Todd Elton, who's been playing a couple of games lately, uh, a couple of good key forwards, and then their small forwards are as I said before, apply a lot of good pressure. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a great challenge for us as a back six, but, yeah, we're looking forward to it. What have you found to be the biggest changes from last year to this year? Um, yeah, I think it's it's been good. Obviously, Fags has given us a licence to, to play the way we want to play on offence. Um, and, obviously, defence from last year was a was a big change this year. Uh, we've spent a lot of pre-season focusing on defence and making sure that we're not letting in as many goals as we did last year. So. Um, we've really tightened up in that department, I think. Um, and then, yeah, as I said, on offence, we're uh, playing with a bit of freedom and able to move the ball a bit, a bit quicker. It's obviously being important to make sure that we're making good decisions with the footy um, in that regard. But also, uh, yeah, then playing fast and really trying to catch teams on turnover. So. And this weekend is. Um it coincides with the Lego Batman round. What do you make of Batman? Here? Yeah, very exciting. Um, it's good to see the costume. They've obviously put a bit of work in with that. So, yeah, it'll be good to see him there on Sunday. Beautiful. Thanks, Harris. Thank you.